My name is Alex Paul and you're watching a very interesting video. I've decided to create a playlist called Storytime because I have a lot of interesting stories to tell and uh, we're going to say, I haven't really thought about this, but we're going to say that it's going to be a 4 minute story time. So I'll see you on the other side of this intro, alright? Alright, so, intro's done, all of that's out of the way, all the cool out of the way, it's just me and you now. So, let's start the clock. I'm trying not to do a Peter McKinnon, but I absolutely love him, and his Two Minute Tuesdays, or what, Two Minute Tuesdays, yeah, that's what they're called, are actually insane. But, I'm gonna have to, we're gonna start the clock now, top right, let's go. Okay, so four minutes on the clock. This time last year, and I'm going to say, take everything as this time last year, so I don't have to keep on repeating it. That's probably already 20 minutes off the clock. Anyway, this time last year, last night, was a party held by three of my close mates, 18th, Sam Thorpe, Mark Chatfield and Lauren Hart Williams. Happy birthday for this week, guys. Hope you're having a good time. Left about 1.30, had about half an hour sleep, and then had to get, get my flight at four in the morning. So that's how the day started. I'm on my flight to Chicago. I'm heading straight to Salt Lake City. Well, not straight to Salt Lake City, because I'm going to Chicago. Two hour, three hour layover, three hour layover, four and a half hour flight to Salt Lake City. I was seeing my friends James, Melissa and Charlotte and Matt was in university in Southern California. So he was to see at the end of my America trip. They moved from the UK about 10 years ago, I, I think. I'm, I think I think it was 10 years ago, I'm pretty certain. Me and Matt were quality mates, probably best mates like back in Hawthorns when I was yet like eight years old. None of us had Facebook or Instagram or any of that stuff. So they left and I was not in contact with Matt. My dad, however, worked for Amazon, has a conference every single year over in Las Vegas, and uh, he, which is only 400 miles away from Salt Lake City. So every single year, dad goes to Salt Lake City with James and Melissa and uh, skis. So he stayed in contact with them and they said one, one winter, they were like, yo, so if Alex wants to do a gap year, we can have him. We can show him around Salt Lake City. We've got Moab National Park to the south of us. We've got Yellowstone and Grand Teton to the north of us. We've got so many places to go see. So if Alex wants to come for a gap year, he can. So that's exactly what I did. I've still got to talk about feelings. Feelings, right, okay. So feelings, starting the gap year, not going to see my mates for a whole year, or my parents, or my brother, or my sister, or my dog, or my grandparents, etc., for a whole year. How am I feeling? I am not scared, I am not nervous, I'm not exactly sad, it's pure excitement and adrenaline just pumping through my veins and alcohol. So I'm on the plane and that's I'm trying to sleep, trying to get all the alcohol out of my system, but I can't because I'm so excited, I'm so pumped up on the adrenaline. I just want to start this gap here. It was an awesome time. That's the first stage. And that is four minutes, I think. I think it's four minutes. So yeah, that's pretty much story time for today. My first stop, Salt Lake City. Spent about two weeks there with Louis, and then two weeks in Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks, which was dope, but that's for another story time because I've got so many more stories to tell from there. It will be way more than four minutes, but I'm gonna do it in sections because I, I probably should do. Divvy it up a little bit. If you've got anything to say on this video, comment in the, in the description. I don't have to rush anymore because I've told the story. Comment in the description down below, okay? Um, what else I've got to say? Like, share, all that good stuff, and look forward to a new story time Me. in the near future. I don't know what it's going to be of. Yes, I do, but you don't. So, catch you later.